Hey, thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about how to set up the print menu and how to print jobs and stuff like that. So the first thing you have to do is set up your title block. So you're going to go to, this is just a random job just to give you an idea of what it were, how it works. So go to file, print, multi-print, multi-print, then you have to go to page setup right here. As you can see, I got mine already set up. So you go to, so this is the page setup. Click these little three lines and then pick any title block and just copy it. So we'll just, uh, you can scroll through these too. It might make it easier. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is pick your title block. So you can scroll through to see which ones you like that's closest to what you want it actually to be. Obviously that's made for too big of a sheet. You may want it vertical. Uh, we go eight and a half by 11. So let's just take this one for example. So you, now the one that we picked was eight and a half full page horizontal so eight and a half full page horizontal and we're going to uh, you can copy it and then pay and then or export and then import it here let's do that hey. oops export it save yes and then import it then you'll have another one and then you can rename it test job or test title block and then here okay let's just do that so now that you've done that you can hit edit again and go to the title block editor this brings up how to edit this actual title block so each of these things are variable and these things down here are just text that's written in so you can either add text, so you can just draw a box and you can write, this is a box. And then, oh sorry, uh, right here. Oh, it's not allowing me to do it. Oh, you can see my text opacity is set to zero. So when you set that to a hundred, there, that shows your text. So you can add any box, test, test. Now this one's really big, so it's set to inches. You probably want to set it to font points instead of inches. Uh, oops, let's just select this one. So five inches is way too big. So let's just say, five font points and you can adjust to font the font to whatever you want so this is how you can edit manually edit text that will always stay the same and then from there uh, from there you can add variables so here's your variables tab here you can add like the page number, the current date, uh, the revision number, that will pick up in the job. So the job name, the customer name, the address, and this is all, so these things are all within the job tab. You can add all those things in there and then it will show up when you print. So another thing you can do is you can add, so you have your, all those things, that you can add in here settings you can add any of these things so basically you want to manually text this uh, type your text in and then you can add the variable above it as the indicator that will pull the pull that variable in there 
Um, usually you just want to pick up the one that's closest and then just drop your logo in there or something like that. So I'll show you how to do that. So we just use the selector, delete that. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that. So, so in order to add your logo, let's get out of the title block editor and yeah, we could save it. So we have to import into the multi-print menu. So you're still in the multi-print menu. Let's say no. So when we go print, multi-print. So this is the multi-print menu. You're going to import and you can import a DXF or an image. We're going to import an image. Um, not sure what image, I'll just pick one. I'm sure I have one here somewhere. Let's just uh, assume this is my logo, which is just a rendering that we did. So now you've added this here. You have to right click on your image and you probably want it to be the size that you want it to be. So right click and save as symbol. And we're gonna save it as test logo. And we click OK. So now in the symbols library, we should have something called, and it would be in test logo architectural symbols. You may want to change where that is. And if you want it to be in a different category, this is, you know, a menu that you hardly, a lot of people will hardly ever go into. So you can just leave it where it is. But if you want to put it in a separate folder like logos, then have this highlighted. Save a symbol, test logo. And then you can see test logo has been added to this. So when you want to add that to your title block, you just added this to your symbols library. So now you have to go to page setup. You have to go to these dots again, go to your thing that you were working on, which was where was that one? Oh, here it is. And you're going to edit it, open title block editor, go back to your symbols library and then the test logo you can drop your image in there and then from there you can move it if you press m on the keyboard you can move an image and s on the keyboard lets you like resize it so let's just say that's my logo we're going to stick that in there and then we're going to click ok and then here we're back into the multi-print menu and we've selected uh, we're going to go to page setup and we're going to select our title block that we were working on. Where did you go? There it is. So we click OK. We can delete that one now. So you can see the logo has been added to the title block. So in, in multi-print, you can uh, add elevations. You know, if you want to add an elevation, M again moves moves it around. This you have to add in manually. If you don't want to manually create your elevations and stuff, there's another way to do it. But I'll just give you a quick rundown on how multi-print works. So here you can add pages. If you're doing very specific things that you need to show customers certain things, uh, that will show it. So add your elevations. You can see when you click it on this window, it shows you what up here what the elevation is. Left and right view of the elevations. You can drag in all the elevations. M on the keyboard moves. Select or S will resize. So then you can res resize it. Or if you want to resize an image on this one, you have to change the scale of the page. So like you would need to change it to 3 8 scale. You can also add text. So click this little thing, it'll give you an arrow. 
and then a line over, and then you can type uh, fridge upper. Okay, then you can type a regular text without the arrow inside a box. Text. Uh, you can change the font and such by using this edit box here um, and the size of the text that you're working on. You can dimension certain things, so if you're, and it will snap, so if you want to dimension from, like, say, this cabinet to there, you can dimension it out. Uh, you can add and remove layers. Say if you just want to show, you don't want to show any countertops, you don't want to show any appliances, you want to remove elevation dimensions, moldings, so there's lots of things, ways that you can manipulate it within multiprint, it's probably better for commercial work or something that you need to show very specific things on. Um, now, an alternative way, and we're still going to use this title block. As you can see, it's pulled in a lot of the different things. There's the materials, there's the door style. Um, so that's all really convenient. Uh, save changes, no. So we're going to go print, print job this time instead of multi-print. And this has this is a way more automatic way to get all of your elevation views and everything. So we, and you can select this however you want. You, there's a lot of different menus. I'm not going to go through them all right now, but if you want to say you want to get a door list, you can print the door list right here and you can get all the profiles and everything from that. Um, you know, you can print uh, section panels, cut lists. You can print all kinds of stuff in here. So this is a nice automatic way to do it. If you're printing at all the elevation, uh, if you select this, it's going to print all the wall elevations, even if there's nothing on the wall. So if you want to just remove the empty walls, you can just hit uh, this select button and then select only the three walls that have stuff on it. You can see this one says empty on it. Push them over and then you'll only get those walls that have things on it. And then print, but we're not going to actually print. Let's just print preview so you can see what we're getting here. Preview, click OK, print. So as you, you'll be able to see this is my current regular title block. So what you want to have is the one we've been working on. So we're going to select here. We're going to go test title block. Uh, select title block anchor. You might want to anchor it from a different location, but we'll just click bottom for now. So preview, print. There you go. So you can see, you might want to mess with that uh, anchoring location to see to get this to work quite right. But you'll you play with it as much as you want, and you can get pretty much an automatic output for your elevation views and everything. So this is what we use predominantly to print out elevations. Uh, I recommend you you know peruse through all these print options because there's a lot of things in here you different shops may find really convenient. Uh, go through all these. There's print cabinet. You can print the cabinet drawings, uh, stuff like that. So, I mean, just go through it at your discretion and go through it that way. And so, yeah, that's how you set up a title block and a quick way to print out the elevation views and, and uh, print out a lot of other stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching and take care. Bye.